Fox News alert, the search for Molly Tibbetts coming to a tragic end. An illegal immigrant has been charged with first-degree murder after he confessed to kidnapping and then killing the 20-year-old university student while she was jogging on July the 18th. Man, you can't jog in Iowa in the daylight. Our next guest argues if you're not outraged by this, you're not paying attention. Here to explain is Fox News contributor Tommy Laren. Tommy, your thoughts. Well, I think what this shows, once again, is that when we talk about illegal immigration, when we talk about border enforcement issues, I think the American people are starting to see that this isn't just an issue that impacts border states like mine, like Arizona. This is something that impacts the entirety of the United States. If this can happen where it happened in the heartland of this country, it can happen anywhere. So I hope that all the young girls that are watching this, all the family members of young girls, their daughters, their sisters, their wives, that are watching this can see how real this is because it could easily be your daughter tomorrow. So I hope this is a giant wake-up call. We have to do something to fix this immigration problem because illegal immigration kills Americans. Enough is enough. You know what, uh, Tommy, as well, yesterday ICE filed a waiver with the sheriff just to make sure that he was not released. I mean, it's the biggest story in the Midwest that we've seen in a very long time regarding a, a young missing woman. But just the fact that ICE has to issue that detainer saying, hey, remember, if you release him, we would like to go ahead and have him as well. That says something. Well, of course it does, and I hope that all of the elected officials, all the liberals in particular who advocate for things like sanctuary cities, who advocate for policies that make it more difficult to enforce federal immigration law, I hope they understand that in some part they do have blood on their hands every time an American citizen is killed by an illegal immigrant. The fact that our, our law enforcement and our immigration officials are hampered the way that they are in this country is an outrage. And it's so sad that we have to have a tragedy like this to remind us and to bring this up in the conversation, but maybe it's what we need to start taking these things seriously. Like I said, it's Molly Tibbetts, and it could be your daughter, your sister, your friend tomorrow. It's an absolute outrage. All right, let's move on and talk about uh, Melania Trump. You know, she came out and she's pushing for uh, her program, anti-bullying. She's going to be making her over first overseas trip. That'll be to Africa. But she went out and made her speech, and that didn't stop Anna Navarro, a commentator from another channel, from tweeting this out. On vacation, and I swore I'd stay off political Twitter, but girlfriend's lack of self-awareness, I guess that's referring to Melania, and any sense of shame for her husband's use of the presidency to bully others is hard to ignore. Only plausible explanation here is Melania suffered oxygen deprivation to the brain. Okay, uh, what about that tweet you think is unacceptable? Well, everything about it is unacceptable, and it's actually funny. I think Anna Navarro would be wise to find a mirror and look at it because everything that she said about Melania Trump is exactly what I'm thinking about her. Talk about self-awareness. How could someone be so disgusting and so vile to tweet this about our first lady who is advocating for anti-bullying? I have never seen a first lady be attacked like this, like Melania Trump has, for the good works and the good deeds that she's done. Can you imagine if we would sit here on Fox News and attack Michelle Obama for something that she was trying to do to better the country would be attacked for it up and down. But because it's Melania, because her last name is Trump, people like Anna Navarro think that it's okay, that they're entitled to do that. And quite frankly, I find that to be disgusting. And furthermore, it's an insult to really everybody that advocates for anti-bullying. That's a human being that believes that we should have a platform that's positive in this country. It is curious. There is no outrage to speak of. Tommy, thank you very much for joining us on this very busy Wednesday.